Hello YouTube and welcome to a brand new C Sharp tutorial. So we're going to carry on with our application today learning C Sharp and the basics of it. So if you haven't watched my previous tutorials you need to go and watch them because it's kind of a series. But we've got a username and password box so we type in the username and then the password which was videos but we made it look like A signs. And then it pops up with this and we've just got this. It does nothing except go back. So we need to fix that. Well, we don't need to fix it, we need to add something. So if you open up your main menu here, we can begin doing something with this here. So we're going to play with the basic, with the arrow keys. So every time we press a key or any type of key, the program does something. So obviously, if we're going to make it into a kind of game, since so we named it game. So when we click it, we need to open a form, which we've already done. So we're going to right click the name of our project, add and Windows form, and we'll call this. Um, game. I don't know. Well, yeah. And what we're going to do just for now is we'll use something basic. So we'll just stretch it out just so it's got a little bit of room. So we'll say. So we'll edit the size manually. So 1024 by 768. Because that's the default. That's a very, very common one. So we have our game here. So if we go to our toolbox, what. We'll, we'll just add a button. You can add pretty much anything, that's the good thing about it. Unlike Java, it's it's not super easy to get the X and Y. Whereas on here, you literally go to location and you can do it on anything. So, if, well, nearly anything. If we get checkbox, we can do location. So you could run around as a checkbox if you really wished. But the best one is always picture boxes. I haven't got a picture yet. But there, you can just, if you drag picture box out, there, it decided to go up there. You can actually add an image to it, right there. But yeah, so we're going to use a button, and we'll just simply type character. That's our button. And we're going to make the font, if you click font in the properties, we'll set it to 15, so it's kind of big. And we can stretch it out. So there's our character. So when we press left arrow key, or D, we want him to move to the left, blah blah blah. So what we're going to do is simply, whenever we press a key, we're going to change the X location or the Y location to make it move. Really easy. So first thing we need to do is actually make the form open. So we're going to go back to our main menu and click on our game button, but we're actually going to rename it to something better than game. So we'll type open game button and we double click and it will give us the code. So we're simply going to type this in again, which we've already got, but change it. So really, really easy. So we'll type game, and you can keep it called open form because that's all it's doing. Game, open form, this dot hide. Easy, right? But what I'm going to do is not make it hide the main menu. So if you ever get bored of the game, you just turn it off, you've got the main menu again. Really easy, right? So if we just click that, and we type here, YouTube, video, videos well when I type it right there we are there it is but yeah so we click game there's our game character blah 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 quest off we can do it again easy right so now we're gonna actually work on our game so what you need to do is not double click on the button because it's actually it's weirdly you don't put the code with the button you put it on the background and I'll explain why in a minute so if you click your form here and go to this little lightning symbol up here, it's called events. So if you click it, and then you get all these different ones. So if you go back to the code, say for main menu, right here for when we double click the button, it types open game button, so the name, underscore, which is that um, little line, and then it says click. So if we were to go back to here, we've got click right there. If we were to double click this, it would add one of those for our form, but called click. So every time we click it, it run that code. So obviously, we want whenever we key press or press a key. So if we come down, key down, right here, double click inside it, game dot key down. Game is our form. The reason you have to do this is when the game comes on, by default, the form is always selected. As you can see, these checkered pattern around here, that means it's selected. If we click the button, the checkered pattern goes away. So the, the best way to always do it is because you've got to be selected in order to use the key press. So if we click on the form there, and then we type in the code on that, when it defaultly loads up as um, this is the parent, 
you well selected you can press it straight away we will eventually add code that it makes it automatically select it but if that's beyond you don't worry just type the code so game events key down if you haven't got the properties just right click properties it'll pop straight up and then we in here is really really simple to type so in order to make something happen when we press a key is really 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 easy. now what we added here was an event so an event is when something between the computer or the user happens so something changes so for the computer side something might be loaded that's an event the user presses a key it's an event which we've got here so we need to actually access that um, event key code event and what we're going to do is actually grab this thing here key event args and all this does is store whichever key is pressed so if we were to call e we could see which key is pressed so it's really really easy so in this side this function here if we simply type if and then put your bracket in can I zoom in there we are that's much better for you if and then we're going to type e so for that thing here you can rename this if you want we'll call it keys in fact key we'll call it key and show you it works key dot key code it's right there so key code capital K capital C and then you put two equals just right we did for the first if statement then as you can see it's automatically highlighted keys so if you just double click that capital K and then we put dot and then there's all the keys you can choose from if you want to use one which is like you have an extra button on your mouse or something you may have to find something else for that but as you can see media stop that's well I've reprogrammed that to my pause break so that would work for that but as you can see every key is here so what key do we want we want by default W or up if you want up you simply type up if you want W you type W yep um, uppercase W then you close your bracket and insert your squiggly ones that's one thing I like about Java it automatically adds it for you well net beans but still right so here we need it to test something see what happens basically so what we're gonna do is where our error list is down here which I showed you the other time but we never actually covered we can actually print a line directly to this to see if something's working now that's brilliant to tell if something's working I use it all the time another way to reference this will be called a print statement a console writing statement um, a system dot out statement depends what language you're in um, we're simply going to type console then we're going to put space then we're going to type write and now you've got two to choose from write line or write write will simply add it to whatever's already there so if we were to put write it'd add it onto this end of this error if you type write line it will add it on its own it's really easy so we're going to put bracket and in java you're going to see it's a lot like this but it's system dot out dot write and then it's ln not line but it's easy you'll pick it up these are ones you should know off heart because if you're ever online and then questioning they'll always say um, where does your console get to have you put debug statements in these are what they are really easy so here we'll type we got the key so every time we press W it should print here we got the key so let's try it so I logged in and all we're gonna do is I'm gonna click it once and then not press anything so if we press W you can see absolutely nothing's happening and even if we click the form nothing's happening now the reason it's doing this is if you've ever got multiple tabs or anything you know you can press this arrow keys to select different ones and what Visual Studio does is if you have any type of selection item like a button it automatically selects it so we've got to change it now there's two ways we can change it we can either not use buttons that'll work fine or we could just find something else but I'm going to go with the not using buttons because it just works the same so what we're going to do is delete that oh uh, I'm still debugging just click cross so if we get rid of that and add say a label or a picture box here we all know what labels are so we'll just do the same here character and um, if you wanted the buttons to be on there I'm going to show you a probably next tutorial how to fix it because people need buttons but yeah so we save and I'll click play so I'm going to click game and then press W and you can see we got the key so it's printing it right down there in our output that's just what we want but now we actually just need to move our character then we done correct so we're gonna grab it and we basically need to get the location then we need to move it up now there's two ways you can do this you can do it the D well 
not the standard way, the way most people think is you type label or whatever it's called dot location dot x then you set it that's too long or you could do it the other way and type label whatever it is dot top top means y left means x there isn't no right or bottom but top it's weird vertical but it's short really short and you'll see it in a minute so we've got W, we may as well set the Y axis up. So if we grab this and just press the up arrow key, you can see up is minus. So as we're going up, it's minus, it's taking down the Y axis. But if we press down, it increases. So on here, we'll name this correctly first. So we'll call this player. So on our game, we're going to type, instead of console.write line, we'll type player, because that's the name of our label. Then we're going to put dot, and then we'll put top. Right there, look. And then we're going to put minus equals. Um, I don't think we've done this before, but what minus equals will do is um, just set it to 5 from now to shut the arrows up. But what that'll do is basically get whatever value it already is and then take 5 off of it. Um, teachers teach it often to make it easier. Player.top equals. So when you put equals, you're resetting it so it equals 0. But if you set it back to itself like that, say it equals 20, it now equals 20 again, then you can just minus 5 off of it. They both do the exact same, there is nothing different. I prefer it that way, a lot of people think it's easier. You can do it whichever way you like. Um, so I'm just going to get rid of that and put that one. So 5 is the amount it's going to move in the direction. So if we keep it at 5, it should move 5 up. That's it. And just to test this, I'm going to copy it. I'm going to put keys S and plus. So when we press S key, it should move down. And I'm going to duplicate it again, both of them, like that. And I'll just put there, so we've got some room. And I'm going to put A and D. So instead of top, we now need to put, that's my verse, sorry, left, like so. And then we'll put minus equals 5. And then the same again, so we just tap left. I really hope they're the right way because we never tested that. So I'm going to go and test it now. So we click play, and you'll see up, it's moving up. You can hold it down, down, left. Ah, we got it right, right. Perfect. And you can't, can't really go diagonal unless you press both at once. But if you do it in slow motion, you're actually going click, 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 click. But it works. If you wanted both from pressed at once, we can do that, but not yet. But it will work. But that's it. Really, really, really easy. So we've now got a character moving around. Next step is we get some bad guys. Then we get some guns or weapons. Then we get some health. And then we make a game. Because games is just the way I learn better. And many people are game makers. It's a big profession. So yeah, so that's what I'm going to teach you. There's the code, e.key code. Remember, you could have it up, down, left, right, arrow keys, everything. Really, 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 really simple code. Thank you for watching. I hope you liked it. Please thumbs up. Web, um, Facebook, Twitter, those kind of stuff in below. And see you next time.